When a man comes to see us, assessing his fertility is a fairly simple process. What we arrange is a semen analysis. Now on the semen analysis, we're looking at three main variables. The sperm concentration, which we like to see about 20 million sperm per mil. The sperm motility or movement, which looks at how well the sw sperm swim in the ejaculate. And then finally, the morphology or what proportion of the sperm look normal. Now, ideally, we like to see about 10% of sperm looking normal in the ejaculate. Now, a very important point is, is if the first semen analysis comes back abnormal, the first thing that we would do is repeat it. There's a large variation from a week to week basis with men in their uh, sperm counts, and we'd always like to repeat it, not straight away, but probably about four to five weeks later. And if that test comes back abnormal again, then we may require to do more uh, high power tests to further assess the quality of the sperm, such as a DNA fragmentation test. Now a DNA fragmentation test is once again where we get a sperm sample and we look at the damage of the DNA within the head of the sperm and the degree of damage that occurs gives us a guide to how good the quality of the sperm is in that ejaculate. Once we've assessed that the uh, male partner has got a low sperm count, then the good news is that there are actually treatments available to help these couples out. The commonest treatment that we use is a procedure called ICSI, where we embark upon an IVF treatment cycle, but at the time of fertilisation, the scientist selects the sperm and injects it into the egg to, to assist with fertilisation. In a minority of cases of male infertility, there may actually be no sperm in the ejaculate. Now in this situation, we do have the option of being able to try and surgically retrieve sperm from the testicle. So under a general anaesthetic, a cut is made into the testicle and tissue is removed and given to the scientists to be able to try and extract sperm. In a small group of men where we have performed a DNA fragmentation test and the quality of the sperm may not be as optimal as we would like, IVF Australia has pioneered a new technology called Digital High Resolution ICSI. Now with this treatment, we're able to magnify the sperm in an effort to be able to have a closer scrutiny of the head of the sperm and to be able to select the best quality sperm to be able to inject it into the egg. Now this is a treatment that we're very proud of and we're seeing some fantastic results in some of our uh, male infertility patients.